Hello, everybody. Good evening. I am here. Just trying to find my live here. If I can. There we go. Hi, Miss Laverne. Hi, Mr. Gerard. How are y'all doing this evening? How is everyone doing? Come on in. We're going to make a quick Monday night meal. I did not cook yesterday for the house. So we're going to get just something real quick tonight going, okay? We're going to make a quick meatloaf. I don't think I've ever done that live. I've done a few meatloaves. I got a garbage bag over here, y'all. Let me see, can I get me an apron real quick? Really, really quick. All right, I'm sorry, I'm here trying to find an apron. I need one. I don't have one right in front of me. Here we go. Put this one on here. All right. How is everyone doing? Let's get started right now. Let's see who we got on here. Miss Tina Battle. Hey, Samantha. Miss Karen. Miss Denitris. How is everybody doing? Oxtails and mashed potatoes. That's what I'm saying. And kale. Yes. Miss Marissa King. Hey, y'all. We're going to do this really, really quick. Let me put my rice on. I just got two cups of rice in here. I'm going to add some water. This is parboiled rice. I don't measure... I just put about that much above the rice, okay? Because I don't want it mushy. I'm going to put it on the stove. I'm going to turn it on when it starts to boil. We'll put a lid on it. Put some salt in it. I'm going to turn y'all to the stove as soon as we get this cabbage going. But for right now, we want to make this meatloaf because I bought this meat. I've got ground sirloin and ground chuck. I bought it Saturday. And I put it in the fridge, so I need to cook it, okay? We're going to get it in the oven really, really quick. And then we're going to get on our cabbage, y'all. I figured if I'm cooking, I might as well turn on the camera and share. Let's see, this is 1.35. It's going to be a good size meatloaf, y'all. It's going to be a good size meatloaf. That's the sirloin and the chuck. We have 1.33, so about the same amount in each here. How is everyone doing this Monday, the beginning of a work week for some of us? This was my late night, so I'm getting started late, of course. And I have not prepped anything. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, we are starting from scratch. So in this meat, and y'all know I use a lot of paper towels, y'all. I'm like an addict for paper towels. Okay. So we got our couple pounds, about two and a half pounds of chuck and sirloin. It doesn't matter which one you want to use, okay? I've already washed a bell pepper pepper here and we've got an onion don't mind the carrots y'all those I'm gonna put some of the carrots in our cabbage okay so let's get started here so we can get this in the oven because this is going to take the longest to cook it probably will not be done by the time I get off of the live but I'm gonna show you where it is when I do get off the live okay if you see me looking at the stove I gotta watch everything all right Let's take, we're going to cut up a little bit of onion. 
Y'all come on in. Hi, Miss Emma, Miss Cynthia Joyce, how are you? Miss Kenya Swain, Miss Jean Watts, come on in. Y'all, I got to find my knife. See, I don't like to cut myself, so I use my favorite knife. I'm used to it. Okay, we're just going to put a little piece of onion in here. And for those of y'all who have seen me make a meatloaf, you might want to cover your ears because I know I've said it a hundred times. I don't put fillers in my meatloaf. For those who may have never seen me before. So if you're wondering where's the, the um, breadcrumbs or eggs, I don't do none of that. I don't need it. And I've said before, I don't really like the texture that it gives the meat. And I'm just gonna take and cut this up in my hand like I would normally do if, even if y'all was not on camera, okay? We're gonna get it done. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this and a little bit of that bell pepper, and then we'll put some bell pepper on top. Sometimes I make a meatloaf with a gravy, like a mushroom gravy, not doing that tonight. For one, I don't have any mushrooms in the house. But secondly, I wanna get this done. Sometimes when I don't cook, well, anytime I don't cook on Sunday, y'all, I'm hungry and I feel kind of bad that I didn't cook for my family <laughs> because we are just so used to it. Okay, that's enough onions right there. You want more? Put more in there, y'all. Put them in there. We're going to take a piece of bell pepper. This, this has been washed, okay? It's been cleaned. And I'm going to take and cut up just a little bit of it into this meatloaf. Simple meatloaf. Simple. And you can season it any way you want. Let me wash the seeds out of here. Hi, Miss Gwen. Got Calvin here. I'm going to cut this kind of small. It's just going to take me a minute, y'all. It ain't going to take me long. We're not going to put a whole lot in here. Got Calvin in the background. If you hear somebody talking, that's him. Samantha's not here. I don't know if she's coming. I know. I think I saw her on this live, though. She had to work today, too. How is everybody? It was a little gloomy here today, but it wasn't cold. It was cold where I worked, though. Good Google Mooga. Lord Jesus, it was cold. All right, a little piece more, and then we'll just add some to the top. Well, my Korean, Korean said, why her meat look fell apart? Oh, Miss Proxima, look at you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, Proxima. And I say, Miss, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> I got a super chat. Yes. Okay, this is the last piece here. And we're going to put some seasonings. Now, I'm not going to put a whole lot of seasonings because I do have this Lipton onion pack. I think it's the beefy, beefy, might be beefy onion. I'm not sure. I put the box back up. Hi, Miss Downtown Baby. I think the D stands for downtown. Okay, y'all. Let's put some seed seasoning in this simple meatloaf. Garlic, granulated garlic, okay? I like that. Y'all know I like that. Oh, you know what, y'all? I want to put some fresh garlic in here as well. Oh, you are welcome. Thank you. Okay, we got a little piece of garlic we're going to put in. Our rice is getting ready to boil good. We're going to shred up some carrots. And we're going to cut the cabbage up right here. Because I, I told you, I didn't prep. This is a little bit of all-purpose. I did not prep tonight. 
If I took time to prep, it would take longer to come on. This is a little bit of Laura, y'all. I'm just going to put a smidgen, smidgen, some black pepper. And some salt, a little bit. When your rice starts boiling, I'm sure most of y'all know how to fix rice. When it starts boiling, put your lid on, okay? Turn it all the way down. I turn it down to like a one. And then we have our seasoning packet here, okay? It was gorgeous. The shower was beautiful. Thank you for asking. It was beautiful. Let's get all well. We'll wait. And let's put this piece of garlic in here. Let me stand over here, y'all. Just do one clove tonight. If you crush it like that, just take and give it one real good hit the skin is easier to come off because the skin can be kind of difficult to get off a of fresh garlic. Just hit it hard. The skin comes right off. I'm going I'm to dice it up really small in here. And I know, y'all, I just... I'm going to use the cutting board for the cabbage, but... Hard to break my old ways. Hey, Miss Half Curly. Okay. Let's mix this up and get it in the pan. Oh, you know what else we got to put in here? I got a little bit of um tomato paste. We're going to put some of that right into the meat. And then the rest of it, we'll take and mix it with some water. Now, I may have tomato sauce, but I don't want to use both. I don't want to open both, okay? So, I'm going to put some of this paste in here. something here to get it out. A little spoon. I don't know if I need that or not. I don't know why I got it, but we'll see. Just a little bit. All right. Give it some yummy, yummy. Let's put on our gloves. We're going to get in here. We're going to mix this. A lot of times I mix it right in the dish I'm going to cook it in. And then do that. Oh, my rice is boiling. I'm turning it down to almost low. Put a lid on it. About 15 minutes, it'll be done. All right. I like hamburger. I like smothered hamburgers. I like any kind of hamburgers. All right, y'all. Let's get this mixed up. I think we got everything. Y'all know I'm forgetful, but I think everything is in here. Let's get it mixed up. I'm not going to over mix it. But I, you want to mix it enough to get all of your seasonings in here distributed equally. Yeah, I don't like my meat to sit in the fridge too long. I won't, I won't use it if it does. So I thought, let me come home and cook this meat. The intentions was to do it yesterday. I didn't have the time. And I don't know why I always get hungry if I don't cook on a Sunday. We're so used to having a good meal. I'm, I guess I just miss it. All right, y'all. That looks good. Make sure the meat's a mix because we're using two different, and it's, it's all beef. It's just one has a little bit less fat than the other one. Y'all, the meat getting so doggone expensive. 
So I try to stretch it like this meatloaf here. We will more than like, well, I know we'll eat off of it tonight and tomorrow. I can take a meatloaf sandwich to work. I love meatloaf on bread and mayonnaise. Let's get our pan. Thank you. Let's get our pan. Putting that in my garbage over there. We're gonna put some carrots and bacon in our um cabbage. We're gonna have cabbage and carrots together. We're gonna cut that cabbage up real quick. Let me get some more gloves, y'all, here. Yeah. Just don't want the greasy meat on my hands tonight. Don't want it on my hands. And I didn't really eat yesterday at the shower. I think I was just overwhelmed and tired, right? All right, calm down over there. Calm down. Have a seat. All right, let's get it in here, y'all. My intentions are not to keep y'all long. All right. Just going to put it, shape it up. Get it together. Yeah, they, y'all, those wings, they was a hit. First of all, Calvin tried them here at the house and he about fell out. He don't normally do that. He said before he could even really bite down into it, it just came right off. It came off the bone. And everybody was like, y'all saw me make the sauce, right? They was like, did you make this sauce? I was like, yeah, it was simple. Nothing, I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be elaborate to be good, y'all. Okay, we got that. Look at that. We got it. We are going to now just put some, um, some more of this tomato sauce on top or tomato paste, but I'm going to make it a sauce. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit here because this is what I'm using. Oh. That sounds good too. Meatloaf sandwich is good. Since this is so thick, I'm just going to make a little sauce and pour over it. Now, y'all know this meatloaf makes a lot of juice. Okay. My mother used to make her meatloaf just like this. She never did the gravy thing. Okay. But the gravy thing is really good when you have time to do it. I'm just going to pour this on top. Okay, we're going to slap this in the oven. I turned the oven to 375 tonight because I want to kind of push this to get done. All right. Let's just put it all on there. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It's not going to hurt. Okay. That's going to be a good meatloaf. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it. And like I said, for those who may have come on later, um, it won't be done by the time I get off of here. Welcome everybody on, but I will show you where it is before I get off of here, okay? 
because it's not going to take long to fix that cabbage. We just need to cut it up real quick. Okay, in the oven it goes, y'all. I say about 45 min minutes. It's not that big. A good 45 minutes to an hour that needs to cook. Let's clean up a little bit here. We're going to get these. Probably only going to use one carrot. Oh, I didn't put this on. I done told y'all need to remind me of things. Carrie, you didn't put the bell peppers on top. I done told y'all. All right. Let's get this cabbage and these carrots, okay? Now, what I do with my carrots, I do use a potato peel. It doesn't hurt to cover that meatloaf. No, sir. I make it like that all the time. Just want to get cleaned up here a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit, okay? We're going to turn to the stove as soon as we get this cabbage cut up. Now, what I do, I normally take my cabbage... And I, yes, I put soap on my cabbage. Yes, I do. Just a smidge on the outside of it because it's nasty. It is nasty. It's got black stuff on it. So I wash the outside very, very good because even the outside leaves we eat, right? Yes, we do. And then what I do is I take and I put it, I usually cut it over here at the sink. And then I take and I put it in a strainer. I put it in a strainer and let the cold water run on the inside of the cabbage. Okay? Let's put that there. Let's get our strainer here. Strainer, colander, whatever y'all call it doesn't matter. Let's get our knife. I have learned how to cut this on the cutting board. Yes, I have, y'all. I'm just cutting off the core down here. Okay. Turn and make sure y'all can see. All right. Then I'm going to take, cut it in half. Y'all be careful with your fingers. Lord have mercy, be careful. And this is a small cabbage. I don't even have to cut it in quarters. I will. Now see, there's still a little bit of soap, so, and that's why I continue to rinse it. And I'm going to rinse it, okay? some more and then we're going to take of course cut that little core out there yeah i'm gonna rinse it y'all don't worry about it because there could be grit and then we're just going to take and cut it usually when i'm doing this i have water running in the strainer in the sink See, it's not going to take us long. Now, I tell you, this, this right here, I don't like. It's hard, and I don't like it. So, I take it off. I don't cook it. If you want to cook it, go right ahead on. But those hard parts, mm-mm. No, no. I don't like them. Okay, so let's put this in our strainer here. And this is a tiny cabbage because I normally use a much bigger strainer. Okay. This 
this was a small piece, so we're just going to go with it. And don't worry about those, those leaves. I'll get those. See, it's dirt all on the inside here, this cabbage. So you got to wash your cabbage, y'all. You got to wash it. out there in the dirt I know and I'm still not all that great at it you don't need to tell me <laughs> my mother never used a cutting board never she didn't even own one y'all in fact I, I used to cut this cabbage in my hand I mean hold it and cut it yes I got a video out there doing that before I decide to go ahead on and, and try to, the cutting board. You know, you, whatever you're used to is what you do. So I'm trying to get better. But I like being an old school cook. It reminds me of my mother. How is everyone doing that is on here? I hope you all have had a good Monday. Even though I had to work, it was a good one. I got up this morning. I didn't know how I was going to feel after being out late. Got home about 7. That's, that's late on a Sunday for me. All right. We are almost there, y'all. I try to be very careful with the knife. Okay? That's that. And you notice I cut mine thin. I like it thin. You can cut yours any way you want. I like it thin. That's something else my mother did. Always real thin. Okay, and the leaves that you do want. This didn't have any real outside leaves. This was it, really. I just take and roll them up. Cut them. Put this in the sink and let some water run on it. Make sure we get all the soap off, all the grit. And then we're going to take our carrots. You know what? I might just use this big one here. Got a big carrot here. These are large too. I pulled them out because I got to use them. They're going bad. They are going bad. And a lot of times what I do, I just put them in my cabbage. Yep. Yep. That's how I used to cut mine, right in the sink. Okay, so the, we're gonna take the skin off of here and I use just a peeler, okay? I have been known to peel them with a knife, but I do find that this might be a little bit faster and I like to use this because it cuts it thin and that's how I put it in my cabbage, okay? And really, this is enough. This one right here is enough because it's huge. Okay. We'll cut the ends off. And we're going to rinse this again, too. All right. See there, starting to, so we're going to salvage what we can, 
it's not that bad. It's not bad on in there, okay? I try to find a way to use everything I have in some kind of dish. Let's rinse this. y'all okay and then I just do this for my cabbage same peeler you don't need much but it's uh, I find carrots is so good in that cabbage y'all I know I'm a little slow tonight I'm a little slow I want to eat. Now, I tell you what, if you're not careful with this, this cuts you too. Mm-hmm. I haven't done it, but I know it will because it's sharp. So what I'm going to do probably the weekend is fix some kind of stew where I can use these carrots. I was out one day and I actually bought a bag of carrots and it was a lady. I didn't know her. She was in the store the same time I was. She was behind me in the line. And when I got outside, I was putting my stuff in the car and she walked over to me and she said, um, she had two bags of carrots and she said, um, she had gone somewhere and got them. They was giving away food somewhere. And she said she had too many. So she offered to share, which I thought was a beautiful thing. Right? Okay, y'all. I'm going to stop cutting, but you can eat all of this. You, of course you know that. If I was cutting it for stew, I'd cut it all. Right? Just trying to get enough for my cabbage. All right. We can go to the stove and cook this cabbage, y'all. The rice is almost done. See, we're getting on down the road. Put that, all of that in a bag. All right, let's get this cabbage on. I got some bacon here, regular breakfast bacon. gonna take this to the stove because this will go on first okay let's go over to the stove let's get our bacon all right y'all yes I know it's a little bit dark my ring light is out um it finally just really gave out I got a box light in here trying to put some extra light in the kitchen so y'all can see what's going on here. Welcome everybody that is on this live. I know I have not said hi to everybody. Hi, uh, Mr. What is it? Jontum, Miss Karen, Miss, is that known special? Okay, let's get some bacon on. Can y'all see? Yes, y'all can. Let's get some bacon on, y'all. Take this bacon. I'm cutting the bacon. Okay, we're ready. Don't need a whole lot. Put as much as you want. It's just to give this some flavor. And yes, I'm going to also add some bacon grease. Yes, I am. Let me rinse this off my hand. Bacon grease. We keep it for veggie. 
<laughs> for veggies. Calvin said this thing is going to overflow because he's been cooking bacon in the mornings. Let's see here. Let's get some of this bacon grease. Hello there, everyone. I appreciate you so much for coming on on a Monday night. Yes. See the bacon grease, y'all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We keep it. We really keep it. My mother used to keep it in um, a Crisco container, the, the Crisco shortening. She used to keep hers in that. Yes, and nothing better in the veggies, y'all. Nothing. Now, of course, if you don't eat pork, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're going to let this bacon, and it's, it doesn't have to brown or anything. It doesn't have to get crispy, nothing like that. You just want that flavor to get into this pot. I know old school cooks keep bacon grease. I know they do. Now, I know people say you don't need water in cabbage. Cabbage makes water, whatever. I put a little bit. I won't put all of this, of course, but I'm going to put a little bit because I don't want my cabbage to scorch on the bottom. It happens, y'all. It does happen. At least it has happened to me. Okay. We're going to put these carrots in first. <clears throat> let them, I'm, I'm going to put a drop of water in with the carrots. Let them steam a little bit. Okay? Because, of course, it takes those longer than it does the cabbage. Then we're going to drop our cabbage. Put a lid on it. We're going to put some salt and some all-purpose in the cabbage. You can use any kind of seasoning you want. I, I tell y'all, I know I've said it a zillion times. I don't over-season my food. I want to taste my cabbage. I want to taste it. It's getting hot, y'all. I'm just going to let it cook about a minute. And we're going to drop these carrots. The rice is done. I'm turning it off. See how that beautiful rice you don't need much water. I don't ever put two to one. I know they say put two to one, and you can. But I like my rice to separate. I don't, I don't, I don't. Now, that, now I'm going to tell you about my mother. When she got older, I mean really older, she didn't cook a whole lot. But, honey, she would cook for them grandbabies. Oh, yes, she would. She, she would get in there, and she'd get something together for them. She had gotten to where she started making mushy rice. <laughs> rice that sticks together. <laughs> that sticks together. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't do this rice. I cannot do the rice. I don't know what happened. Because she taught me how to cook. And I'm talking that kind of rice that you rinse and you rinse and you rinse and you let it boil and you pour the water off. And then you put the lid on and turn it down. That kind of rice. But she had gotten where that stuff mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I know I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> okay, so see, this is this is enough. It's enough. We we got that flavor plus plus we got our grease in there, right? Our bacon grease. So I'm gonna turn this down a little bit to right above a medium. We're gonna drop these carrots in. Yes. Mm. Y'all in the pot. And I just want those carrots to steam a little bit, y'all. Just, just a little bit. All right. We'll get rid of this so we don't have to look at it. Let's drop in a tad of water. 
smidge. That might have been a tablespoon, okay? We're going to put a lid on this. We're going to let it go for a couple of minutes, okay? And then we're going to add our cabbage. Dinner is almost done, y'all. Look at all these folks. Good evening. She could, you can. Hi, Miss Terry. Have you ever cooked with gas? I cooked with gas, well, of course, when I was very, very young. We had gas growing up in New York. Um, but I was a young teenager. But this past Thanksgiving, in the Airbnb that we rented, it had gas. And yeah, it was an issue. To me, it cooked slower. That oven, I had a time with that oven cooking my food the way I wanted it. And to be honest, my mac and cheese could have cooked a little bit longer. It had been in there forever. So, yeah, I've, I've gotten used to electric. I'm good. I'm good. I picked up my phone so I could say hi to some folks on here. Let's see who's with us tonight. Miss Karen. Did, do you ever add, I have never added potatoes to my cabbage. No, I have not. I love your glasses. Well, thank you. Uh, Miss Brooklyn, well, sir. Miss Ellen, El Nora, Miss Noon Special, I saw you earlier. Yes, every stove does have its own, and if you're not used to one, um, especially when you got to cook a, a big old meal. It, it was a challenge. It was a challenge. New to the stream. KG 1041. Welcome. What you cooking? We got a meatloaf in the oven. We put that together. Um, we're getting ready to steam this cabbage real quick and some rice. That's it. It's Monday. Okay, but I wanted some vegetables and I wanted some meat. Hi, Miss. Is it Sage Saja? Hi, Miss Greta. All right, y'all, I was trying to remove a comment. Hi, Miss Carolyn Smith, Miss Janet McPherson, Elijah Lee. See, I got a different phone that I can look at because I can't, I can't see that. I can't see. Okay, y'all, let's, let's, let me wash my hands and let's get our cabbage. Let's get it dropped. I know I don't talk to y'all as much as some people do, but y'all know I got to focus got to focus. Let me show y'all these beautiful carrots. And don't think it's too much grease. Mm -mm, baby, that's going to make those cabbage good. Let me get them. Let me get them. Ooh. All right. We got our cabbage here. We have rinsed them good. We are going to drop it. It's a small cabbage, so it should all fit. Hi, Miss Sheila Farmer, Tallahassee. All right, y'all, I'm dropping. I know I'm in the camera. Am I in the camera? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I could work from the other side, huh? I'm glad you did too. See, I have to break my stuff up, y'all. Now, I won't add the salt and the, um, the uh, all-purpose until it, it, it cooks just, just a little bit, okay? That is our cabbage. That's simple, y'all. That's simple. All 
right? So we're going to put a lid on. I'm going to put just a smidgen of water. Smidge. Yeah. Because it's dry at the bottom. It is. And I know once it starts cooking and we put that salt in there, we'll get some liquid in it. But in the meantime, in between time, and, and I've, you know, if it, if it gets a lot of water in it, y'all, I drain it off. I drain the water off. It's no big deal. Because I really don't want to boil my cabbage. I, want, I just want to steam it. But if it, if it gets too much water, I take it, take the lid, pour it, and pour some of the water off. It's no big deal. Hey, Miss Deborah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Miss Rain. I think I spoke to Elijah. Uh, Miss Cultural Prospect. Thank y'all. Some of y'all I don't know. Thank you. Some of y'all I don't know, but I so appreciate y'all coming on. Yes. Panda G Gaming, Miss Evangeline Brenda, welcome. Miss she okay, Miss Sheila Farmer, <laughs> is that a caraway frying pan? Girl, bye. I wish I could afford caraway. Somebody tell them I need some pots. This is the, the knockoff. <laughs> this is the Sam's brand. <laughs> the member's mark. I would love, that is one set of pots. One day, I say, one day I'm going to get me a set of caraway. Let me show y'all what I'm doing here. I'm going to I'm gonna get a set one day, but in the meantime, <laughs> we're going to work with these. And actually, I just like that, that they're pretty. I don't know how they cook. But I like that they're pretty. I'm pulling up some from the bottom, y'all. So the ones on the top can get down there. Yeah, when Samantha saw these pots, she, she thought the same thing because she's she admires them too. Okay, let's put a little salt. Salt to your taste now. I don't use a whole lot of salt. In fact, my food a lot of times is undersalted because we don't need a whole lot of salt. Calvin doesn't have to worry about his pressure, but I do. <laughs> I do. Okay, let's put the lid back on. Mercy. Okay, I'm just trying to pull some of that up from the bottom, y'all. And you can see I am because you see the carrots in there, right? Oh, y'all, that's going to be some good cabbage. That's going to be some good cabbage, y'all. Let me take a look at this meatloaf. I, I didn't even look at the time, y'all. I didn't look at when I put it in. It doesn't matter. I'll know when it's done. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh yeah, it's getting there. I'm going to let y'all see it right before I get off. It's getting there. I should have looked at the time. It's all good. It is all good. Let's see who else is here with us tonight. Thank y'all for coming on. Hi, Miss Rhonda. How are you? In the Caribbean, look at you. Oh, thank you so much. I watch you cook all the time. Thank you. Hi, Miss Rebecca. Everybody say hello. Miss Easton, Mr. Ethan, Miss 
Laciana, Mama, I'm, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm sorry. Jose, <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there. Y'all are bougie. I get cast iron from the thrift store. Well, I shop at the thrift store too. I sure do. Hi, Miss Faith. I shop at the thrift store. Depending on what I'm looking for, y'all. But I still like nice things. I sure do. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Got it from my mother. Got it from my mother. <laughs> yes, y'all, please, if you don't mind, hit that like button. Okay, see, this is cook, cooking down. It's going, I'm going to wait a couple more minutes. I'm going to show y'all that meatloaf. Yes. Um. Let's see. I can't see the likes. I don't know. I don't know how many, but y'all, please hit that like button if you don't hit it while you're on here. On your way out, y'all. On your way out. That's going to be done in about five minutes, y'all. Let me show y'all this. Um, mm, Y'all, that's some beautiful cabbage. Look at that. Tell me that's, that's not going to be good. Oh, I love vegetables. I am a vegetable girl and I am a meat girl. We are almost there. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I didn't know I was coming on. And like, and like I thank you. And like I said, I came home and I had to cook, so I said, let me share since I have to get in here and cook. Okay? Yes. Let me show y'all this this meatloaf. Still using my Christmas mitts. Yes, I am. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna open it up, y'all. Baby, baby. Who said don't put the lid on the meatloaf? Look at that beautiful meatloaf. Now what I'm going to do, since it's almost done, I'm going to stick it back in there without the lid now. If y'all watch me, a lot of times I start my dishes off with the lids. Especially, it, it just depends on what it is, okay? And then when it's almost done, I'll remove the lid to get a little color. Yes. And that is what I'm going to do now. Stick it back in here so it can get pretty. Remember, I got it cooking on 375. I sped up the process a little bit. So we can eat at a decent hour. It's late. It's late for us, but... I'm going to give y'all a last look at the cabbage. Mercy, y'all. Oh, yes. I'm not supposed to lay this, this lid on this stove. Sometimes I do it. And it depends on how done you like your cabbage. This is not going to go a whole lot further for me. Because when cabbage is cooked too much, it bothers my stomach. So, and then if I want to eat it as leftovers, I, I, I leave room to be able to heat it up. Um, let me let y'all see it though. It's not, when I'm done, it's not crunchy. But it's, it's not totally, totally soft, y'all. All right. All right, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. That is a beautiful cabbage there. See that bacon grease on it? Mmm. Hmm. You gonna eat green? You want a little bit of fat on it? 
All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Y'all were so patient with me tonight. Yes, y'all was patient. I've been on here a minute. But we started at the beginning, and we are almost at the end, okay? Thank all of y'all. Miss Karen, Miss... I'm sorry, I can't say it. It's Tammy something. Miss Sharice. I'm so sorry, but y'all, enjoy the rest of it. Y'all, please hit the like button. I got 83 likes, over 200 people. If you like it, hit the button for me. Y'all, it helps. It helps not just my channel, but any channel you go on. You know, I've been growing real slow here, real slow. I need some help. Doesn't cost you anything unless you didn't like the video. <laughs> unless you don't like the live. Hit the like button for, for me, okay? And y'all, hi, Stinky. I think that says Stinky. Um, enjoy the rest of your week, okay? I hope and pray that I can come back on here during the weekday this week. If I come home and cook, I'm coming on, okay? I'm trying to get better, y'all. I'm trying to get better. But I've gotten older. I'm tired, okay? By the time I get home, I'm tired. Yes, but I will be back soon, okay? I appreciate all of you. I love all of you for being so patient with me and for sitting here and watching, okay? Y'all have a good night and a good week, all right? Love all y'all. Remember, share my live, y'all. Share my live. Send me a comment. I know a lot of you have already done that. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Makai? Does that say Makai? And Iva or Eva, Miss Rebecca, Miss Carolyn Smith. Okay, y'all. Um, and subscribe to my channel. If you're sitting on here right now and you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Carrie's Cozy Kitchen, okay? And I'll be seeing y'all real soon with another video or live. Bye-bye, y'all. Have a good night.